Hi everyone, today I want to show you how to create shortcut buttons for MS and MSE files in 3ds Max. So let's see the first example. Let's start with uh, MS files. Of course, MS stands for Max, Max Script Files and um, let's see how it's done. So let's say I wrote down a script and I want to save it for a later use. And now I go for File, Save As and let's call it Test01. And uh, now if I want to reuse the script, so I, go, I can go for scripting and run script. And now I have the test01 MS file. And now I press open and the script is run. But what happened if I want to use it uh, very often? So I want to create a shortcut button for it. So let's see how this done. So the easiest way to do it is, is to press on the uh, gray area on the uh, uh, UI panel, right click, customize, go to toolbars, create new, and let's say test, we call it test 01. And now I can take this uh, toolbar and dock it to the uh, UI. Let's close this one. And now the easiest way is just to select everything and drag and drop it to the uh, new toolbar. And as we can see, when we press on it, the script is run. Um, another cool thing that you can do is uh, right click on it, edit button appearance, and uh, of course you can choose um, any uh, custom uh, icon for it, and you also can create your own custom uh, icons but uh, you also can give it uh, a, a uh, text uh, text label so let's call it test 01 and press ok and as you can see we when we press on it the script is run uh, another cool thing that you can do is right click on it edit macro script and uh, as you can see what max uh, is doing it's actually when we drag and drop it to the toolbar max automatically create a macro script that actually what the, it actually means is when you press on the button run the script that we already wrote before so this is how we do it for ms files so let's see how it's done for mse files mse files stands for max script encrypted uh, sometimes people when they create um, scripts they don't want you to mess around with, with the script and uh, maybe they don't want you to steal uh, knowledge or uh, uh, I don't know lines from the script so they prefer to encrypt it so let's see how it's done so if for example we want to uh, run the script so we go for run script and as you can see we have MSE file uh, I will uh, go with substance painter to VR which is very useful uh, script I will add a uh, link in, down in the description. I press open, and as you can see, the script is run. But what happens if you want to edit it? So when we go to scripting uh, open, as you can see, we can't see any MSE files. But if we press file new, and let's say we want to uh, drag and drop the file, as you can see, that's what we get. It actually means that the, the, the script is in, uh, encrypted and uh, we can edit it. So let's close this one. Um, so if we know that the script is staying in a specific path and uh, we, don't want, we don't move it around, so the easiest way to do it is just to create a very small script, it's just one line, um, to, uh, when, and when we create a shortcut button for it, when we press on it, the script will open the MSE file from the path. So let's see how it's done. So we just need to type down on execute do file in and quotes. And in the middle of the quotes, what we want to uh, copy into the quotes is just this path. Of course, you can go with Control V, Control C, and Control V, or right-click, cut and paste. Of course, um, and 
I add to the, this line another forward slash and I want to copy this file name and that's it and now the easiest way is just to uh, select everything over here let's press ctrl A on the keyboard uh, drag and drop it to the uh, toolbar and as you can see when we press on the button the script is run um, of course again you can right click on it edit button appearance uh, you can go for a text button and go for a label let's call it test 02 and of course the script will run again uh, and it work very smoothly uh, very easy to use so I hope you like it please thumbs up if you like the video uh, I will leave all the uh, information down in the description and uh, see you in the next tutorial bye bye